Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix unable to load data persistent data error on Battlefield 2042. The first thing you should do is check the server status of the game Battlefield 2042. Most of the time this error occurs when the server is being upgraded or has problems. If the servers are down, then you won't be able to do anything else. This error code will be eliminated automatically once their services are back online. Method 1. Stay up to date. Make sure that you always update your operating system and games to the latest version, this can help you minimize errors that arise during the use of the system in general and the game in particular. Method 2. Clear cache. Open the EA app. Select the three dashes in the far left corner of the EA app. Scroll to help. Click app recovery. Select clear cache. If you're on a Mac, PlayStation 5 and 4, Xbox or Nintendo Switch, please refer to the EA Help page for more information. The link is put in the description by me. Method 3. Verify integrity of game files. For the Steam app, open Steam then navigate to Library. Right-click on Battlefield 2042 then select Properties. Select Local Files. Select Verify Integrity of Game Files. For the EA app, open the EA app. Select My Collection. Click on 3 dot on the Battlefield 2042. Select Repair. Method 4. Check Internet Connection. Maybe, you think this is the silliest things to do but is still necessary. I would recommend you restart your router before trying to launch Battlefield 2042 again. To do that, power down and unplug the modem and the router if you're using one. Allow to sit for 60 seconds unplugged. Plug in and turn on the modem and router, and allow them to completely boot up until the front panel connection lights on the modem show a steady connection. Relaunching Battlefield 2042 and see if the issues is resolved. If after restarting the router the problem still occurs, then try disable IPv6, third-party antivirus software and using Google DNS. Besides that, try with another network, such as mobile data, neighbor's Wi-Fi, or using VPN, etc. I recommend that you contact the EA support site to report it, if the problem persists. Hope this is useful.